whenever the presence of obstacles in the aerodrome vicinity necessitates this, sectors that should be avoided can be specified and restricted from use, in the omnidirectional departure procedure. Sector borders can be defined by bearings and distances from the center of the turn area. Levels at holding fix are typically assigned to ensure, that the first aircraft to arrive over it is at the lowest level. Successively, higher levels are then assigned to the following aircraft. If both aircraft are equipped with transponders working in mode Sierra, the resolution advisories provided will be coordinated, which means that one aircraft will be commanded to climb, and the other to descend. Not every sensory input is detected by our brain. To be detected, the input must stimulate the receptor cells with enough strength, which is known as the sensory threshold. For example, the quietest sound a human could hear has a noise level of zero decibels. Horizontal course guidance during the approach is realized by the azimuth antenna. Its operating principle is based on a time reference, scanning fan-shaped beam. From the approaching aircraft point of view, the beam in the two, scan direction, moves from the left to the right, and it comes back in the fro, scan direction, from the right to the left. All four systems consist of a constellation of satellites, whose signals can be used by a suitably equipped receiver to determine position. The number of operating satellites in the constellation, and orbit's parameters vary depending on the system. As the operating principles of these systems are similar, they will be described using the still most popular Navstar GPS as an example. The differences between the systems will be discussed later.